Hey, this is Chad with Monday Scientific. Today, we're gonna to talk about my favorite scope, the Olympus BX41. This scope is uh, set up for pathology use, and this one goes out the door more than any scope that we have, the refurbished scopes that we sell. So we're gonna um, we're gonna come in, we're gonna talk about some of the features and the options that we have. So this scope is, uh, it has the tilting head on it. This is gonna be the most common head that we sell on this scope. It's very ergonomic, tilts up and down. It has WHN 10X by 22 millimeter field of view eyepieces. This eyepiece right here, if you're a pathologist and you wanna measure, you can add a reticle to it. It has the reticle shelf in there. Let's screw that back in. A lot of times with the reticles, you're gonna put them in a focusable eyepiece and then that way you can focus in and out on the reticle and make it sharper or more sharp. All right, we're gonna take that head off and then show you another head. This is the trinocular head. So it's the U-TR30-2. This head would go on just like the tilting head. We're gonna take the three millimeter Allen wrench, put it on. You never want to take your hand off of the head until you know it's tight. And then it has a pull rod on it. So whenever you pull it out halfway, it's gonna split the light so you can see through the camera or through the camera and then through the eyepieces. That's 100% light to the camera, 100% light to the eyepieces. So we're gonna take that off. All right, then we're gonna drop the sage down. We're gonna talk about the nose piece. So this has a six place nose piece on it and this does not have the slot, but you can get it with the slot for the analyzer as well. This scope usually comes with a five place nose piece on there. The objectives, we have a 2X objective, a 4X objective, 10X, 20X, and 40X. This is gonna be your most common setup for pathology. You can get a wide variety of objectives, the plans, the plan fluorites and the plan apos. All right, we have a slide holder. This can be removed if you like to push the slide with your fingers. You can also get a lock stage that doesn't have this coax control, so it won't be in the way if you do push it with your fingers. We're gonna take this off. Once this is off, we have the flip out condenser. So this flip out condenser, the reason that we have this on here is so you can fill the field with the 2X and the 1.25. It's a U-SC3. This is an excellent condenser. You're gonna see this a lot or pretty much on all the pathology scopes that use the low magnification. If you don't have that, you'll get a vignetting or a shadow around the edge of the 2X. Take this off. This is your substage condenser bracket. When you have this off, you have a daylight blue filter on here, a didenium filter because this scopes halogen. Let's take this off. And you'll see how the light kind of changes color. It's gonna burn like a yellow hue. You have the field diaphragm. You have the light control. And then you have the preset button here. So if this is pressed and you'll notice that it illuminates green what it does is it holds the light so now we can't adjust the light if you find the perfect light for you you can adjust it with a little flathead screwdriver in there and set it when that button is pressed no one can change the light so if you have multiple users that's a really handy feature so that's basically it we'll wait wait one minute here there is another there is another thing we need to talk about the lamp house so the lamp house on this scope we talk about changing the bulb and some other videos this lamp house is a six volt 30 watt bulb these are great they're like 54 dollars 60 bucks and if you ever go to your scope and you know you've just replaced the bulb and it still will not come on but you turn the light switch on and that light illuminates 
there's a good chance your lamp house is bad and needs to be changed. That's gonna happen about every 10 years or so. So we're gonna put this thing back together and start off with the subsage. These scopes are awesome. This tool basically does everything that you wanna do on the scope. You got a little stage pin right there that we're gonna put in and rotate. You're gonna see it click back. These two knobs right here are gonna use to center the condenser. We have another video about setting color illumination that we'll put in the description of this one. It can help you set the color. But whenever you do that, what it's gonna do is make sure when you do that process that the scope is parfocal from objective to objective within a quarter of a turn is factory spec. Another thing, when you're taking this, uh, these nose pieces or this nose piece and objectives on and off, I always lower this stage and hold this thing with two hands. I'm really comfortable with it. I've done it a bazillion times, but I always want to make sure I, I you know, hold everything with two hands if I can. I'm going to lock this head back on. And that's it. That's the, um, that's the BX41. This thing, I love this scope. It's got a nice aluminum heavy duty frame and uh, it stood the test of time. These things are probably 15, 20 years old now and they're still excellent. You can put an LED in this scope and it's literally like brand new. Um, I highly recommend it. And they're priced around $5,000 for this configuration. So they're great for a new Mohs lab, uh, any derm path home pathology, um, clinical use in a hospital to upgrade, I would put this scope against anything, um, especially for clinical use. So if you got any questions, you can always uh, call 919-775-5596, or you can email info at mondaymicroscope.com, and that's Monday with a U, and um, we look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.